Members of parliament on Thursday were thrown into shock after news broke about the passing of a deputy finance minister and MP for Ejiso, John Kuma. The news came to the MPs a few minutes past 2 p.m. The House was discussing the welfare and the health of MPs and former MPs on the floor when the news broke. The Speaker, Alban Bagbin, had said that arrangements had been made at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital for MPs and former MPs to go for checkup, but some complained that that would intrude their privacy. This issue about the health of members of parliament came out a number of times. And the time I was majority leader, we took a decision that members should undergo thorough medical examination every year. And we entered into an agreement with the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Reports from Kolebu show that a number of members said this was an invasion into their privacy. And they were not going to subject themselves to that kind of comprehensive medical examination. And just when the speaker was urging members to take their health serious, the news of the death of John Kuma came in. When the speaker Alban Bagbin was told about the news while in the chair, he was visibly surprised and immediately laid and relaxed and in a shocked mood in his seat. The members could not bear the news either, compelling the majority leader Alexander Afinio Markin to appeal to the speaker to take a 10 minutes break or suspension. Mr. Speaker, the leader of the house is calling for suspension for leadership to confess, so it's in order. The speaker immediately suspended sitting. Members in the chamber grouped in numbers Obviously, discussing the matter, sitting resumed in about 15 minutes, and the House had to postpone the debate on the State of the Nation address, which was expected to take place. Proceedings were subsequently adjourned to Friday, March 8, at 12 o'clock in the forenoon. Most of the MPs we approached will not speak for now, as they await official announcement from the Speaker. But just a few of them, or two of them, spoke to us. Earlier this, uh, this morning, uh, we were hearing uh, what we considered to be rumors, you know. So we were chatting with colleagues, trying to find out. Uh, some of us were hoping that it would be one of those uh, hoaxes. On Tuesday, when I was making my contribution in debating the State of the Nation's address, he, he was in the house. And where I sit, I could see him very clearly, you know, looking at me, admiring me smiling once a while when I was throwing punches. Uh, it's a blow. It's a blow to his family. It's a blow to his party. And uh, it's a blow to the nation. Because he's a, he's a young man, uh, still in his mid-40s, uh, with a lot of prospect. Uh, very cool and collected. He was always beaming with laughter. John was always receptive. He, he, he was not too partisan very much accommodating and I feel that we've lost a very good friend of ours. That is why you see that the, the moment the news came out, each and every one was virtually down. You saw me pass as if I am the bereaved. Indeed, I am a bereaved because he's a member of parliament. He was a member of parliament, so but his death is a blow.